Hello everybody, I'm sorry if it's off sync with the audio, but it's pretty hard to make these episodes, don't make fun of me. Um, today, we're going to be doing Darth Maul, um, aka the last level of, of episode 1. Um, so a common question I've been getting throughout the time I've been on YouTube is why I've done LPs, which if you didn't know by now, uh, is next to those little Lego things I used to do. Um, that is one of my oldest things I've been doing. This is actually the second thing I started, selfieing. There, yeah, okay. And anyways, uh, basically, everyone asks why I do it. It's really just, it's not only really I want to do it, it's just, you know, it's much I do want to do it. It's the whole reason I do do it. It's one of those videos, no matter how many views you get, you're just gonna enjoy it pretty much. Which is why a lot of people enjoy doing videos like these, because it's just something that you can enjoy doing. And if you get partnered, you still get some, like, at least some money out of it, you know? Anyways. Besides the fact that LPing is something you should, it, well, LPing really is just not really, I don't want to say it's something that you just get, like, right into, but, um, it's, it's kind of like, well, I don't really know how to describe it. It's one of those kinds of videos you have to be like, kind of work into. I thought I was scared of having some like a like a high quality. But then I realized I can't have this on high quality because if I did, it would be like an hour and it's over at the end. Yeah, we're doing great. No frames drop, no nothing, so we're good. Don't be stupid, silly boy. So if you don't know how to deflect, just press X or X. Uh, matters what, what kind of controller you're using. Um, Xbox players use X, PS2 players use Square, and I never played the GameCube version, but I'm pretty sure you use B. If you don't, I don't want to know what kind of effed up controls you guys got. But whatever effed up controls they are, they are really effed up. If B is not to attack in a three dimensional uh, fall off the edge and kill yourself. Come on, die to the Elders. Finish, finish off Darth Maul. Yeah, if you can see that thing in the middle there, that's an enemy health bar. I don't know if we've had those yet, but. Basically, it's like your health bar, except for bosses and stuff. There's a battle droid in there. But it was useless, because they couldn't do shiz. Um, remember turning lights here? You actually do some pretty good money off them this time. They didn't cheapskate us out of them this time. Down. The bridge to go across if you need it. Which, actually, you will need it. Because that's where the level is. It's behind that bridge. Point it was so you couldn't get it right away. There we go. The money out of this. Just not do this level for nothing. Okay, as you can see, there's two mini kits. One of them will require nothing, I think. And the other, on the other hand, will require a high jumper. Oh, you're just gonna stand there. You got in place and everything, but you didn't do crap about the fact that... Oh, whatever. Just jump up there and get that mini kit. I really have no clue what the stud tool is going to be, if you don't already know. I'm going to have to be kind of lucky figuring it out. If I do figure it out, I'd be lucky I memorized it. Money's for me. Well, all the switches you see, it helps to a degree. Oh, look, you do get money off that, huh? That was awkward. Okay, don't build that one ship right away, because it will kind of get in the way if you do. 
and if you don't know what I mean, um, building it will result in it leaving. And if it leaves, it's not bad that it leaves, it's just you don't want it to leave before you're ready. Did they seriously program it that badly? So build your little wing and put it on and get on top as fast as you can. And do it you're supposed to use a high jumper, but you can use a um attack, the jump attack thing on there, so it works too. Pull the switch. That door will open and you'll get some money out of it this time for for once. Yeah. Ship leaves. And cash. Cash up the butt. Up the butts, Charizard. Where's money up there? There's barely crap up there. Here. Wonder how what you're thinking if you close your eyes watching these episodes, unaware that they're all peace. I just ruined it if you are. If I've ruined your experience, please put that in the comments section. If your eyes are still closed, the comments section is below this video. You might have to open them. Oh, crap. Go back here. Darn it. Can you go back? Can I go back? Yes, I can. Okay. We need to get back there. Heck, jeez. There's a lot of studs down here. Jeez. I'm gonna kind of. I, I don't know if I'll speed this part up. If the episode gets too long, I'll speed this part up right here. But as of now, I don't really need to speed up. Don't run the stud shit off. That's what babies do. I freaking love how they designed this game. I mean, I know it's how it's supposed to be designed, but they did a good job thinking out how it would look if it was actually made out of things like Legos and stuff. It was just well designed. This game was the most accurate I've ever played. Next to its one million sequels, but you know, they're all unexpected sequels. It, we were only supposed to have two games, that was it. But then instead, we have like seven games right now. I think this accent. Look at the red accent thing. That screws up my regular voice when I use it. Yeah. The money's up there. Ooh. Nice. Bye. This level pisses you off, jeez. It's not that I don't like this level, it's just this level's so long. It's like... Oh, crap. Roger, roger. Roger, roger again. Oh, I also forgot the way you can tell if a uh, subscriber isn't actually watching your videos. Uh, if you have, if you get a dazzle or any kind of thing like this, that the cord is really nice, a capture card, and you were using a camera before you got it.